Okay, uh, so let's go over the market today and um, see what happened. So, um, as you can see, this chart is able to very clearly show you a clear, you know, breaks and tests and all of that. And, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of the noise is uh, removed. So, for example, break, pull back, break, test right on top, tap. Break, pull back, test right on top of the white bricks, tap once, tap twice, continuation. So um, that's what I want to see. I think every trader wants to see that level of clarity. And, uh, you know, it's not breaking any supports. It's just pulling back to pulling back. Now, what, what happens? How do the pullbacks, um, pullbacks? Typically, you have one of two things that start pullbacks. So how do pullbacks start? One is climactic action and the other is lack of demand in a bull rally. So you have a bull rally or a bull column here. You have a climax or a lack of demand. It's basically, those are very common two scenarios. When you have lack of demand or, or, uh, or the other one, the climactic action, it's going to pull back. Where? Where is it going to pull back to? Area of demand. That's all it is. Market breaks out, right? Goes up. You can see five, three, one. What happened? Demand died. What happened after that? Pull back. Where? To area of demand where there was more buying. So initiated the next move up. So over here, you have clear example of five, Three, one, so lack of demand up here, coming back to demand. And the next scenario is climactic action. It just means supply came in. Either, either scenario, whether there's lack of demand at the top of a rally or, or, or supply came in, will initiate the pullback. And the pullback will go back to where? Area of demand. And that's why you got to... Just view it that way, it'll be so easy to understand. Like right here, what happens when it pulls back to, to support or area of demand? Reaccumulation. Reaccumulation, reaccumulation, boom, right there. So that means that area of demand still has demand. That's it. Now it breaks. So now we look back to pullback. Where's the pullback going to go? If you said area of demand, then you got it. Right there, it's pulling back and testing. But of course, I don't want to get in now. It's after market hours, so just wait for um, tomorrow. See where it's at and um, let it set up. All right, now, now we take a look at um, the trading opportunity that was available today. So market pulled back, right? Now before the next rally, the rally is just markup, okay? It's just markup. Well, before the next rally, what do you need? You need accumulation. We all know the basic real structure of the market that is the real schematic of the market is as simple of accumulation markup, distribution markdown, cyclically, you know, in an uptrend or downtrend. That's That's what you need to focus on, but to make it practical on a chart and see it, that requires a lot of skill because you have to trade that. And it's just, um, takes a long time, but anyway, so where was I? So here, what happened yesterday is this um, bar, right? The right there. And what you see is, okay, base, 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 boom, right there, 58, 58 what? It's actually 580,000 contracts and it took out these highs. So I knew, okay, that's it. It's going to pull back and it's ready to launch. Why? Because what causes rallies? Like I said, what causes pullbacks? We said two things. These are the main drivers. One is lack of demand and the other is supply in the form of climactic action. Now, what causes rallies? Well, you need accumulation. And also, you know, you need... To, Typically two things. For the next rally to occur, 
you need accumulation or reaccumulation, but you also need like one or two taps of this area. Why? Because those sellers need to be cleared. So that's why when it goes, you know, when on the first pullback and attempt at the high, it doesn't really work. I mean, it can work obviously, but a lot of times it won't work. That's why you have, you know, ABC corrections. That's why you have, well, I'll give you an example. Take a look at this. You have this rally, right? Then you have a pullback. Now, does it go right away to the next rally? No. Why? Supply is there. So it, it taps the area of supply and sellers are still there, so it's going to come back down. Okay, then the second attempt of more reaccumulation is occurring. Now again, it goes and it taps that high. Is it ready? No, it's not. Why? Supply is still there. Because this area uh, has supply. Then it comes back, reaccumulates some more, enough reaccumulation and enough weakening the sellers at the high. They got filled once and twice. They're already filled. Accumulation has occurred, ready for rally. Boom. Now what happens? It pulls back. Now, do you think it's going to go, okay, up, down, and then up and fly? No. Why? Because you have supply that needs to be weakened. How does it get weakened? It has to fill. So the first test of supply, test, pulls back. As it tests supply, meaning the rally high, near the rally high, those sellers get filled. So it comes back down, more accumulation is occurring. So okay, accumulation is there, which means strengthen, strengthen the form of the buyers and weakening sellers. Now it can break it out, break out. Now pull back. Now here it goes up here, but they're still selling, as you can see from these bars. Now it's gonna pull back. Yeah, they're ready to accumulate. They already got filled, boom. By the way, it, it did kind of pull back, but formed a wick. So. so this is what you typically see. You have rally, pull back, test, spies are still there, pull back, they're still there. Eventually they're all filled and then it breaks. So you have to weaken the those lines of support and resistance by tapping them. When it taps them, it, it's not strengthening them. It, the, those Guys are getting filled, which means there's less and less on the re-attempts at those highs and lows. So anyway, point being, coming back to this, you have market pull back once, accumulation, twice accumulation. Here it's pretty clear. Why? Because you see the 3,000? See the 3,000? See the 3,000? Oh no, not 3,000, 30,000. 30, 60, 90. And then break. Okay, so I saw this and knew the market's gonna pull back and go. So this is the market pulling back and, and a lot of volume came in. And then after that, test, retest, and this was the entry to go up. Um, and when it's trending like this, these are the best markets because if you know how to do uh, trade pullbacks, these markets are a gift. You know, when you have markets that are in markup or markdown, they, especially markup, they have um, a very, a very straightforward structure. The market rally, pull back, reaccumulate, you know, maybe one, two, maybe a spring and then goes. So that's what happened here today. Um, so what am I looking for now? I'm looking for that 485 area, which has already been tested or it's about to be tested. So the market, I want the market to go down here and then look for reaccumulation here for the next high. All right, take care. Bye.